Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi everyone, welcome to the next episode of my channel. So today we are going to be at Kusu Island and we are going to be cooking three different fishes together. So usually um, we will be cooking just one fish by itself but today we are going to have three fishes all together. We are going to have coral trout, one grouper and one parrotfish and see which of them tastes nicest. So let's find out later! Okay, so this is my fishing khaki Colin and the chef here today, Nick. Hello! 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 <laughs> so I'm sure everyone has had these three fishes before. Tusk fish, orange water grouper, as well as a coral trout. But have you had them at the same time? So that's what today's experiment is. Which one tastes better side by side comparison? Now all these fishes have been kept the same. They are all frozen and they haven't touched fresh water before. So it's a fair test. So it start to descale. So this task fish was caught by Agnes on a jet ski on our last trip. Let's roll some footages for you to see right now. Finally, we're doing the angkau. Coral, bar chick coral chop. So I find it really easy to dig out a fish when you have gloves like this. So it protects your hands and you can do it real quick. So even the gills, you're not afraid to take it out. There we go. It's a nice rinse. And the salt water. Sea water will give it some flavor. Saltiness. Natural saltiness. I can scale it. In terms of scales, the two grouper species have much finer, smaller scale compared to the larger ones of the tusk fish. Yes, yeah, so the tide is low at Kusu Island and it's not safe for the jet ski to be parked there. So we move over to St. John Island instead. And the beach, as you can tell, is very, very dirty. So we we'll back to clean up the beach soon. So continue watching the video and remember to click like and subscribe to our channel. Yay! Ooh. Whoa! It's too big. So we have a hot pan. Put some oil. Just now we had a garlic that I fried, uh, cut up. Okay, we're gonna fry it. So 
we'll try it out so this is going to act as the fragrance for the sauce okay just a little bit more browning and then we're going to add a concoction of soya sauce mirin and water so all this I pre-made earlier but I'll give you the recipe so we bring this to a boil and then we're going to give it a taste so what's inside is soya sauce mirin and water it's equal it's exact parts to five parts soya sauce one part mirin and three parts water if it's too salty then you can add more water so once the sauce is done i'm going to transfer it into the thermos bit hot you guys can see okay bit hot and we we'll use it again once the fish is cooked okay wash this pan i need water So the fish is ready for steaming so what i have here is the frying pan with water inside bringing up to the boil and you can see so this one is the coral trout this one is the orange water grouper this is the tusk fish yeah sweet Okay, so right now we're gonna add the sauce and then we're gonna steam it for just a bit longer. That's the more sauce. Awesome. Go unravel. Let's turn off the fire. Take this out of the pan slowly. Okay, so we have our test subjects here. They won't know what they are going to eat. So guys, I need you to put on your bath. Okay, blindfold yourself. And we will see. What? So first fish... <clears throat> as long as you all cover it up. First fish, right? Only those viewers at home, you get to see what is it. Okay, so before I feed them, you all, hope you guys can see. Colin, mm. open your mouth, please. There you go. Okay, guys, this is the same fish for Agnes. Open your mouth, please. Blind taste test of an unknown fish to them. Describe the fish. Uh, it's quite. The flesh quite is quite firm uh, and also a bit quite sweet also. Uh, yeah, overall not bad. Okay, awesome. Um, it's nice. It's uh, it's it's firm, but a bit um, a bit like a big size thing give you. Get it. I don't know, viewers, like you get it. it. No? Really like batang lah, batang fish, nah. basically. Mm. Batang fili. Okay, next fish for Colin. You guys can see, this is a fish. Right. Colin, here we go. Mm. 
Okay, same one for Agnes. Agnes. Okay, guys. Now you've tasted the tasted the second fish, right? Can you describe it for us? Okay. Uh, for me it was uh flaky and yeah. and definitely smoother, smoother than the first one. Yeah. Uh, I also prefer the taste lah. It's, it seems to be more tasty to me. It's more tender lah, right? Yes. Yeah. I can. Flaky and tender. Yeah. <laughs> there we have it from the judges. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready for the third dish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Agnes, okay, have this first. Will you open your mouth? Okay, and for Colin. Okay, you're hungry, you're faster. I finished my fish. Okay, let's go. Open. Since yeah. you all already same tried all three, can you all remove your bars first? Yeah. Okay, how was the third fish to you? Uh, it, not as smooth as the second one, but it was firm. Uh, but firm in a good way, you know, like... Uh, somehow it... It feels make fresher. It, yeah, like. fresher and... Yeah. Uh, Although, the like, taste is about the same as the second one also. But I like the second one better, I think. Cause more Q. Mm. More Q. Like more chewy. Oh, chewy. I like the chewier Okay, okay, okay. Fish. How about the verdict? Now, if I ask you to choose one, two or three, which is the best tasting fish to you? Yeah, two. Two? two? Yeah. Would you want to know what fish you had? Can we guess? Yeah, yeah, why don't you try and guess? I think second one is the Ankao. Second one is the Ankao. Uh. I want to think... The to me, the texture is quite... It's flaky like, like Ankao. Oh, like flesh. first two more yes. flakier, right? Third one should be probably parrot. Okay, la, I think I'll probably take the second one as Angkao also. <laughs> Parrot! Oh, it's a normal cow. Oh, looper. Yes, okay. orange spotter. First one was the parrotfish. Second one was the orange spotter grouper. Third one was Angkao. Ah. Coral trout. Okay, so I'm... In a way, yeah, I suspected the first one was parrotfish. Because oh, that one is the, the... It's still nice, but it's, it's not as nice as the grouper and the Angkao. Which ah. Normally, that is the case when we... Okay. Yeah. Okay, there you have it guys. After the Hong Kong style catch and cook on the beach, right? The verdict is that... Um, verdict is that Orange Potter Grouper was the nicest one based on our test subjects. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you appreciate this video. Uh, basically, I think groupers taste about the same. But maybe uh, the Orange Potter one was a bit smaller. And that's why... Probably that's why they felt it was more tender. Yeah. Yay! Woo. Nice fish. <laughs> <laughs>